Aquapower is no ordinary energy company. Based in the Middle East, it has developed a name for itself as a responsible operator with a key focus on renewables, adding three world-class projects to its portfolio last year. CEO Paddy Padmanathan is with me now. Paddy, welcome. Thank you. Why is investing in renewables so important to Aquapower? As a company that is committed to delivering desalinated water and electricity in a reliable manner at a competitive price, we are technology neutral and we are fuel agnostic. Having said that, given that the cost of renewable energy has spectacularly come down due to innovation in technology and uh, capacity expansion, uh, we, we are now finding that in certain countries which are blessed with renewable resources, renewable energy is very much part of an economically viable solution in delivering electricity. In our own home country, Saudi Arabia, the government announced a very ambitious uh, plan, which is entirely based on economic logic, that as the power demand grows from the today 55,000 megawatts to 125,000 megawatts over the next 20 years, the kingdom would like to move from the current fuel mix of 60% oil and 40% gas to nearly 40% in renewable energy, 10% nuclear energy, and only the balance 50%. Uh, oil and gas. So we ourselves are now starting to invest uh, significantly in renewable energy in order to be positioned to serve the market with renewable energy as capacity expansions start to take place. Of the three projects I mentioned, one is a 60 megawatt photovoltaic plant in Bulgaria. Why was this project important for you? This was our first investment uh, in renewable energy. Um, we already were very significant and have lots of experience in oil and gas. We have taken a controlling shareholder position in what effectively is the largest single photovoltaic plant pretty much in the European Union, definitely the largest in Bulgaria. It's a plant, 60 megawatts, that serves about 6,000 uh, households. We very much did it in order to uh, build up our competency and capacity and uh, uh, get experience with operation and maintenance, and certainly we are doing very much that very efficiently. And you also acquired a concentrated solar power plant in Morocco. How is that technology different? Very different. Um, photovoltaic takes the sun's rays and converts it into electrons directly that creates electricity. Um, in the case of concentrated solar power, we use the sun's heat uh, to then produce steam, which then runs a steam turbine which produces electricity. The advantage of this technology is that Unlike in the case of electrons, which we have to use batteries to store, which is still a relatively expensive storage medium. In the case of heat, uh, using medium like salt, uh, we are able to store it very competitively for many hours, which means that we can capture the heat during the day, use some of that for electricity, store some of it for night, and release that and produce electricity. So effectively now, we are able to start producing competitively uh, renewable energy pretty much throughout the day and night. The Morocco project was, is very exciting because it's the first time um, the cost of this technology has dramatically been reduced. Um, we not only uh, were able to deliver a tariff of 18.9 cents per kilowatt hour, which embeds three hours of storage, we were not only able to deliver it uh, most competitively in that we were 29% cheaper than the other two bidders, but also we were able to halve the previous tariff levels and therefore give a new meaning to this technology. You mentioned they're storing energy for three hours, but you have now a plant in South Africa which can store energy for up to nine hours. Yeah, in fact, we are we're busy developing a 50 megawatt, so slightly smaller, but as you rightly say, nine hours of storage, um, the longest storage that's being attempted anywhere in the world, uh, which effectively will allow us to run this plant uh, virtually like a baseload plan, 24 hours of the day. And again, uh, we've managed to keep the tariff very competitive, uh, down at the uh, sort of 20s, uh, lower end of 20 range, uh, for that valuable power right across the day. You talked earlier about how being based in Saudi Arabia is driving your investments into renewable energy. Where do you look to be expanding next? As I said right at the start, we are we serve the world with electricity and, and desalinated water. Uh, we are growing, as we grow, we are already operating 
in the GCC region in Saudi Arabia and in our neighboring countries like Oman and Jordan. Uh, we, are growing, we have already grown into Turkey, into Morocco, and into the southern part of Africa, South Africa, Mozambique. We today have 15,000 megawatts of uh, capacity and 2.5 and million cubic meters of desalinated water. Our target is to grow this to 38 to 40,000 megawatts over the next four years and 5 million cubic meters of desalinated capacity. We can do this pretty much with the markets that we are already serving, but in order to create a world-class company with a balanced portfolio, uh, we will continue to geographically expand, albeit on a very selective basis. Our targets are to grow within this next four years to start stepping out into some other African countries, a few other African countries, and into a new geographic region that will be the Southeast Asian region. We expect to probably use Indonesia as a launching pad uh, and step into that region and grow in that area. Paddy, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Thoroughly enjoyed that interview.